In this video, we're going to learn how you can use your phone to create PDFs to scan math assignments. In particular, we're going to learn how to use Cam Scanner and Adobe Scan. If you're new here, my name is Olivier and I'm a certified math and physics teacher in Ontario who is currently doing a master's in statistics at Carleton University. We're not here to learn the math, we're here to learn how to use the app, so I'll speed the video through. If we have two points, 2, 3, so that's P1, 3, 5, we're asked what is the equation y is equal to mx plus b. Therefore, our final equation is y is equal to 2x minus 1. And you would have something like this, right? If we plot it, we have something like this. So that would be our equation, and that is our final answer. Okay, so we're gonna start with Cam Scanner. That's the app I've used for about five years now. I think it's geared towards businesses, so there's a bunch of premium features, but the basic features, the free features are good enough for me. I just wanna scan my PDFs uh, fairly quickly, that they look sharp, and I wanna export them as PDFs. And that allows me, the, the app allows me to do that. So I recommend Cam Scanner. I know a lot of people have used it successfully in the past. But after that, we're gonna also learn about Adobe Scan, which based on my research, it might be the best option for students as it is a little bit simpler and completely free compared to Cam Scanner. Okay, so we click on the app, Cam Scanner. There comes with ads, so that's a big downside. So that's one of them, for example. There's a bunch of stuff, so I'll just X that out. You can see I've scanned some finals and whatever, and it, it looks sharp. Okay, so if we just click on the camera at the bottom right, it opens up my document. I recommend having a nice uniform background. This is kind of rough wood, but it will do. It's just that, for example, if you have other sheets of paper under or whatever, a textbook under, then it might look weird, okay? So now that I place it in the frame, I just click the camera again. Doesn't really matter if it's centered or not. You see that it automatically picks up the edges. That's nice. You can adjust it. The right corner was a little bit off. And then you see in the bubble that I'm trying to place this. But honestly, it doesn't need to be perfect. Next, I click next at the bottom right. And then you can rotate and whatever, but and we can rename this. So for example, if I want to do uh, test one, I think it was math 2007. In this case, it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll put an underscore test one and then an underscore my name. So Olivier uh, under underscore Shabbat. Okay, awesome. So I do something like that. And then I can click the check mark at the bottom right. And then you can see that I have a scan page. It looks pretty good, but let's add a new page here. So I tap on the camera to add a new page, or I can tap on the actual page. Doesn't matter. So let's flip this thing over and I put this as page two. And you could do this with as many pages as you want, which is pretty nice. So let's click next. And then let's just explore the different filters at the bottom. You have the original, no shadow. I like the magic color. I find that what that's what works the best. There's a bunch of them, black and white, but I always use magic color. Processing image, clicking the check mark. And then here is the exporting part. We have two pages. If I click on PDF in the top right corner, I have my PDF. You can see it looks pretty sharp. It's gonna say scanned with cam scanner and we need the premium features if we don't want that. So that's a big uh, downfall of this app. But I mean, for uh, school assignments, it doesn't matter if it says scanned with cam scanner, right? So then I just go share in the top right and I can export it via all these different ways. If I click via Gmail, for example, then we can just send an email. So then I can send this to myself. I'll just type my email and then I can just hit send and then let's go into our email and see what's happening. 
and you're gonna have ads. So that's a big downside of Cam Scanner. Okay, so now I'm in my email. I can see the attachment. If I click on it, this is what it looks like. You can see that it looks really, really sharp. Sometimes you'll see little defects at the bottom because I think when it says scanned with Cam Scanner, sometimes it adds a little piece of the table but that's usually good enough for us. As a TA and someone who marks, I would be very happy with this quality of PDF. And generally, if you put a question on each page, then you can reorder them at the end before exporting. So that's a nice part. Perfect. So now that we've seen how to use Cam Scanner, let's do the comparison with Adobe Scan. So I open up Adobe Scan. You can see that right away it opens it up. There's no ad, so that's a big bonus you can click the little house on the top left if you want that's your main menu i don't have any scans but then from the main menu you could always go back to the camera at the bottom right and then from here you there's two ways to do it you can tap directly on the screen and that's only if auto capture is on so now that i've turned it on by clicking the little page with the stars at the bottom i can just tap the page and it's looking for the document so you can see it does a really good job picking up on the edges uh, we can keep scanning or we can click adjust and save and as you can expect it's really sharp here so let's add maybe another page if you see at the bottom left of the menu we have other page so take another photo we can select from photos so let's flip our page to get the same document and it just picks it up automatically. That's pretty nice. So adjust and save. Let's uh, uh, rename this. So let's maybe Adobe, Adobe scan. Uh, and then you could put your, your name, but let's call it test one or something like that. Okay, you can adjust the date, all of those things. There's suggestions, whatnot. So let's rename this. Then let's do save PDF. And we can go look at the PDF. Uh, I just downloaded the app, so maybe we won't have, we probably won't have this every time. So then we can share it in a bunch of ways. Let's go more. You can copy the device, modify scans set passwords, delete all those things. So let's do uh, share and then let's email this. Okay, so email attachment, that's what I want. Let's use Gmail just this one time. Again, similarly here, you can email it to yourself. So I'll do that. If you don't want the message, then you can just backspace it. It's not too, it, it doesn't change anything because you don't upload this on Brightspace, for example. And then if I hit send, as you can see here, it looks very sharp. Page two, since it's blank, has a little bit of blur or whatever you want to call it. It may be just a reflection or something. I'm guessing that if you look at page one, it's really, really crisp. So I'm guessing it might be when you don't have a lot of writing on it, you might get a little bit more of the reflection. But if I look at the paper with my eyes, I can see some of this texture on page two here. Okay, so I thought we could maybe compare the two apps head to head. Here on the left, we have Cam Scanner, and you can see it by the watermark at the bottom right of the page. And on the right, you have the Adobe Scan. You can also look at the uh, names of the, fi the files for each one. I'm looking at these in Microsoft Edge, by the way. And for the first page, they look about the same. I would maybe even give a little bit of a of an edge to Adobe Scan. If you look at the top, it looks a little bit more crisp than this one, but that might be due. I might have wiggled a little bit more, but the lighting conditions were approximately the same and all that. But I mean, they're, they're both very, very good. Nothing to, to complain about. Page two is a little bit different. There's no writing. You can see a little bit of texture on this one. Uh, with Adobe Scan, who knows uh, why that is. A downside of Cam Scanner is that you sometimes get a little piece of table because it adds the scan 
with cam scanner so it changes the dimensions of the page a bit so that there's that downside i mean the watermark is a big downfall for most right because you don't want uh, scanned with cam scanner on professional documents but for math assignments it's good enough so honestly i would give the edge to adobe scan because it's a lot easier to use it's completely free there's no ads there's no watermark and the, the quality is just as good so that's the final verdict for do the work but again let me know your thoughts in the comments if you have better apps and i think they're both available on android and ios so that shouldn't be a problem. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like buttons. But really, the best way to support this channel is to share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time with Do The Work.